Hi, I'm Marty Ward, and um, as you can see, I'm going to be talking about bullyproofing your child. And so I thought I'd just take a moment and tell you why this is such an important topic for me. For decades, I have actually dealt with the devastating effects of bullying personally, as well as as a social worker and as a business coach. Um, in 2011, I read an article on the internet about a little girl named Ashlyn Connor little girl, 10 years old, who decided not to go to school that day. In fact, what she did is she committed suicide because she didn't want to confront the bully. And in that day, I said, enough. Not another bright light of a child needs to be snuffed out. And I founded Create Confident Kids to eliminate bullying. And it's my passion and my mission to have both adults and children believe in themselves. So for millions of children, uh, school is not a safe place. In fact, 160,000 kids a day don't go to school out of fear of confronting the bully. And of the 44,000 kids, 4,400 kids who commit suicide each year, it is due to bullying. But there is an answer. There is a way to decrease the impact on our children's self-esteem and to have school a safe place for kids to go. Now, the current policy of suspension of the bully and uh, even jail time isn't working. And when we ask a kid to stand up for yourself, right, it's as if we send them out into the rain and say, don't get wet. And the reason is that we haven't given kids the tools to be able to know how to manage that, how to believe in themselves. Uh, we haven't given the bully the understanding of, of why they bully in the first place. So platitudes and punishment just don't work. But let's think about ourselves. You know, it isn't just reserved, that emotional understanding and confidence isn't just reserved for kids, right? I mean, has anyone here ever gotten frustrated and said something that hurt somebody? Or how about wanting to stand up at work, right, and not been able to do it? Well, there's a reason. And, you know, we've all been raised by well-meaning adults who didn't always know the impact of what they were saying. Like, you know, when we were little, mommy, mommy, look at my picture, look at my picture. Ah, put it up in the fridge, I'm busy. And that child might throw that picture out and say, oh, I guess I don't matter. I guess I'm not important. And what happens is that we get what I call these Swiss cheese holes. And the more holes we have, the less resilience we have to be able to um, feel great about ourselves and be able to overcome adversity. But there is a formula to teach kids how to be able to have that emotional fitness and to feel confident. And one is to teach them how they feel in the moment. And two is to teach them about their uniqueness. Now, what they do is they define their talents, their abilities, and gifts, what I call tags. And so the tags is actually what gives the kids the absolute knowledge that they are someone worth listening to and valuable. Now, talents are what kids love to do. Art, music, drama, dancing, singing, guitar, um, athletics, soccer, football, whatever kids just love to do. Now, to do that, you need abilities. So your abilities are creative, inventive, imaginative, intuitive, and then some kids are athletic, some kids are, are um, musical. Now, when you combine their talent and their ability, what you get is the gift that they give the world. So it might be the delightful cookie that grandma gets to have, or being a valued member of a team, or the wonderful performance we go to enjoy. Now, how the tag system works is that when the bully says, you're a loser, we don't want you in this school, a tag kid knows to own who they are and say, I'm an athlete or I'm an artist or whatever, and say, yeah, that's your opinion. I know who I am. Or a bully might say, you're so stupid, you don't know anything. And a tag kid knows that they need to own what is true and to say, yeah, you know, sometimes I do struggle in math. Can you help me? And, you know, the way we build emotional fitness is the same way we build physical fitness, which is a focused attention. So you have lots of opportunities every day. When you see a picture, you can say, wow, look at how creative you are. Look at that butterfly. Add such life to that painting. And when your kids are doing, on that rare occasion, something you don't want, right, you tag them for success, like if they're bouncing on the couch. Look at how high you can jump. Look at how athletic you are. <laughs> bouncing is for the floor. 
Um, and teachers get cooperation as well. When, when we value children for who they are, what they're expressing, like they're pounding their pencil on the desk and say, wow, Johnny, you've got rhythm. How about putting that beat into that poem that you're writing? Um, and how about being able to redirect the bully's self-expression into positive action? Well, what you do is first you're going to tag them for success, then you're going to give them emotional fitness, and then you're going to have them take responsibility for themselves. And wouldn't it be great to be able to have the self-confidence that Lizzie does, who is a published author and speaker um, and bully advocate and happily married, and to what she agrees with is that your unique, it's your unique beauty, define beauty, it's, it's your unique gift that we give. So when you honor and value a child's self-expression, you will bully-proof them, decrease the, um, the problems in school, and parents feel great about their parenting. And best of all, the bully and the bullied will believe in themselves